Okay, so it is officially July, and that means one thing. Apple will soon be releasing the first public beta of iOS 16 for you to download and test on your device. Now, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys, should you update, should you install iOS 16 public beta 1 on your device? Based on my experience with developer beta for about a month, I wanted to share my thoughts. Also, I want to share when can we update to the latest iOS 16 public beta 1. So expect the release dates for the first beta. So let's just dive right into this one. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is my personal experience with iOS 16. Now, I've had it installed on this device for nearly a month. Apple released it on June 6, WWDC. It is officially July 1st, so in a couple of days, it'll be a month, and I wanted to share those thoughts. Now, number one, Beta 1, the main issue was battery. I have to say, Beta 2 now for developer has pretty much addressed that issue. Battery isn't the best, so don't think you're going to get the best battery performance out of iOS 16, developer Beta 2, or public Beta, but it is better than in beta 1 so battery yeah will get you through the entire day pretty much with iOS 16 developer beta 2 and public beta when it is released because of course it's an extension of the developer beta here now I also want to mention in terms of bugs now iOS 14 and iOS 15 were very very buggy now that's not to say that iOS 16 isn't buggy but it isn't as buggy as it was with previous software right so iOS 16 I've had some issues crashing within the music application maybe some apps crashing app compatibility compatibility issue of course that is to be expected I've also noticed some notification overlapping and minor things like that but I can't say that I've really experienced a terrible terrible user experience with these betas as I did with iOS 14 and iOS 15 now of course in terms of updating to the public beta one that's going to be entirely up to you of course I don't I never recommend installing beta software on your primary device but if you do decide to update to iOS 16 public beta because you just want to try out the new feature features like the lock screen stuff and all that great stuff that comes with iOS 16 well let me show you how to do that of course links will be in the description down below and of course as you can see right here this page will be linked we have iOS 16 iPad OS 16 Mac OS Ventura we also have TV OS 16 watch OS 9 and of course HomePod OS 16 as well you can download any of these for your devices this is going to be the same page once the public beta is available which we'll talk about the release dates here in just a couple of seconds now, let's say you want to go ahead and test iOS. You want to go into the iOS categories here if you want to learn more. And you want to click on sign up if you don't have an Apple ID or sign in if you do. So sign in with your Apple ID. Go ahead and sign in here. Once you sign in, it will bring you to the actual page to install the profile on your device for iOS 16 Beta 1. Right here, you have iOS. If you want iPad OS, you click on iPad, Mac OS, of course, TV OS, Watch OS, and so forth. So let's try iOS here. Again, this is only iOS 15 because the public beta for iOS 16 isn't out as of yet, but it's going to work exactly the same. You just want to scroll down here and where it says get started, you want to go ahead and click on right here and roll your device. And this will bring you to this page here telling you how to back up everything about the beta. You can read upon this if you wish and then right here install profile just click download and this is Apple's website of course you want to go ahead and click allow and then okay close that out and then you want to go into settings you want to go into profiles you want to go ahead and click install and then you want to enter the passcode the same one you used to unlock your iPhone and once you do so it's going to ask you to click install several times again and once you do it's going to ask you to restart your iPhone I'm not going to do that because of course I'm not going to install iOS right now I already have iOS 16 developer beta 2 installed on this device all you have to do is reboot your device once your device reboots after you install that profile go back into settings general software updates and iOS 16 public beta 1 should be available for you. Now, when can we expect the first beta for iOS 16? Now, if history is any indication, iOS 16 public beta could be released a couple of hours after the filming of this video on July the 1st, as early as today. So I'll keep you guys posted on Twitter. If Apple does not release the first public beta today, next week is the 4th of July, which in the United States, it is a federal holiday, so Apple typically doesn't work. We can expect the next public beta on the week of the 5th, so the 5th, 6th, or 7th of July. So very, very close to the official release of iOS 16 public beta 1. Let me know if you're going to be installing it onto your your device when it is released and if you're running the developer beta i would also like to hear from you in those comments down below this has been how to install ios 16 public beta 1 and when we can expect it thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one
Peace.